Hello, my fellow handicappers. This is Weekend Handicapper from WeekendHandicapper.com. In this video, we're going to provide picks and analysis for the 2021 Louisiana Derby. The Louisiana Derby at Fairgrounds, a, a race that is on the road to the Kentucky Derby. And it's getting crunch time. We are getting so close. And when I hear Louisiana Derby, I know that the Florida Derby is not far away. San Anita Derby is not far away. The Arkansas Derby is not far far away so this is this is a major prep race on the road to the kentucky derby here recently i don't think too many uh winners contenders have came out of the louisiana derby uh but hey this is a new year you know typically you know oakland park with the arkansas derby the florida derby santa anita derby those are where your kentucky derby winners have been coming from but that's not to say one won't come emerge from this field here and it's a field of eight on Saturday, March 20th, race number 14. So you got a big card, a lot of races. And it's going off at 744 Eastern time. I don't know. I'm sure there's a reason for it, but why not just make it 745? I'm sure that's probably when it's going to go off anyway. But these weird post times, I never got that. I'm sure there's a reason, rationale, 744 Eastern time is when they're going to race. Uh, so let's go one by one. And at the very end, I'll tell you my picks and how I'm going to bet th this year's 2021 Louisiana Derby at Fairgrounds. Number one, number one. Well, one thing that kind of right off from the start, six of these eight horses was raced in the Risen Star. So if you've been keeping up with Louisiana racing over the, the winter, you can check out my video, the Risen Star Stakes, and uh, you're just going to have a repeat. Well, I mean, repeat of many of the horses doesn't mean the results going to be the same. But six of the eight horses raced in the Risen Star. So you, if you watch the Risen Star, you should be familiar with these horses. But we do have two new shooters, and which we'll talk about. Number one, starring in my dreams, 21 long shot for Dallas Sturdy. You always, you always got to be aware of Dallas Sturdy and long shots. In my experience, those long shots that burned me, that kept me out of Derby Superfectas, uh, the Oaks went away back with uh, Lemons Forever, screwed up a bunch of my tickets. I think that was 2005, maybe, somewhere around there, six. Yeah, four, 2004, 2006, 2005, somewhere around there. Anyway, Dallas Stewart won with a big long shot, uh, screwed me out of a lot of tickets. So I'm always uh, on guard for Dallas Stewart and long shots. This one is going to be near the front of the uh, pace. So... I'm, I'm more confident with Dallas Sturt's closing horses, as weird as that might sound. So I don't know. I don't see this horse uh, winning this race because I think it's going to have some company up front. Number two is one of those that is going to give the number one company up front, right and just. It was on the front end of the Risen Star Stakes. It led him around for a, a good portion of the Risen Star Stakes race. But he faded. So it's a speed and fade horse. Not sure if this horse could get the distance, but it's at 20 to 1. So if you want to take a shot uh, in the hopes that this horse does get out to the front and hangs on and does get the distance, then you're going to be compensated really good, I think, with number two, right and just. Number three, run classic. Interesting horse. He has two nice outings. Uh, now it's stepping up for sure. Uh, and so maybe this horse can't win, but you might want to think about if this horse does improve, at least including it in exactus, trifectus, the superfectus, 12 to 1 morning line. Uh, number four, Proxy is a very, very interesting horse. Uh, a very talented horse. Very, very nice game second place effort in the Risen Star Stakes. Uh, I don't think this horse will have a problem with the distance. Been working out well. I love Tap It. Tap It is this is Proxy's sire, dad, for those that are just... New to horse racing. I think this horse is ready to go. I like the, I like a lot of things with this horse. And I think this horse, if it don't, if it doesn't get caught up in that speed up front can sit. So this horse has got, got a dilemma in my opinion, because it might've won the risen star if it didn't let the front runners get too far, you know, ahead of it. So if they could keep the front runners that early pace in sight, but and not, you know, fade back too much where it has to play catch up, 
but then again, you, you don't want to be a part of that early pace either. So John Velasco as the, the uh, jockey here, who you know I love and respect, Hall of Fame rider, of course, uh, he's got to do a, have a balancing act there of being not too close to the front pace, but then again, you can't let some of these early other good horses, um, you know, Midnight Bourbon, Bourbon, who we'll talk about, out of its sights to, to win. So that's going to be interesting to see how that plays out. Michael Stidham, good trainer. So definitely number four, Proxy at 7-2 to two is a legitimate contender. Number f- five, Hot Rod Charlie, just claimed off of Doug O'Neill, which gives me a little hesitation about Hot Rod Charlie. It's, you know, no doubt it's a good horse. Finished third in the Robert B. Lewis at Santa Anita. Um, but I, I'm not sure. I don't know if this horse wants this distance of a mile and three sixteenths. It should be coming off the pace, so that's a little bit advantageous, I think, for this horse. But it was recently claimed, and I'm not sure how these connections do or how much confidence I have in these connections off the claim. So I'm going to take a stand against number five, Hot Rod Charlie. I've been a fan. I've bet the horse, um, but I've lost money betting the horse. So I think I'm going to get off that uh, Hot Rod Charlie uh, train and uh, take my funds somewhere else, invest my funds in other horses. All right, number six, Mandaloon, the winner of the Risen Star. Definitely really good horse for Brad Cox. Uh, eight to five morning line. The one to beat for sure. I just can't, I can't bet it at eight to five or lower, but I think the horse can be beat in this particular spot. Um, so I'm going to look elsewhere, but certainly a contender, number six, Mandaloon. And I'll probably regret going against Florent Giroux and Brad Cox. Um, I was, I was all on board, uh, with them factoring in the um, Rebel Stakes last week at Oakland Park, but that was kind of a disappointing effort. We still hit the Exacta, though. You can check out the Rebel Stakes video that I made. Uh, we hit that Exacta, which is nice. Thank goodness a price came underneath. The number three hoser uh, finished second behind uh, Concert Tour, which was uh, made a nice weekend. So, so I'm very glad for that, but Will Brad Cox get it done this week with the heavy favorite, eight to five morning line favorite, Mandaloon, number six. Nice post position, certainly one to beat. Number seven, Midnight Bourbon. Now, I want to bet Min- Midnight Bourbon, but I'm hesitant because I think this horse might get caught up in the early uh, speed of this race. It's going to be out front with several other horses. So I'm a little bit hesitant, but something, I don't know, if something tells me I'm going to regret not betting Midnight Bourbon. So I got to include it, that's for sure. Uh, it's, it was third in, in the Risen Star. I don't think it'd be a problem getting the distance. Uh, you just got to watch getting getting caught up in that early pace, if there is going to be an early pace, which looks like there's several horses going to be fighting for the early lead in this year's uh, Louisiana Derby. And this Steve Asmussen horse has been very consistent, and it's it's a, it's a confident wager whether or not you bet it in the win position underneath in his actas or in your tries or supers. For sure, include Midnight Bourbon. Should be ready to go. Uh, and number eight, Obesos, 15 to 1, fourth in the Risen Star. I don't know. I don't blame you for including it in, it's going to be coming off the pace a little bit. I don't blame you for using it in as act as tries as super effective, but not as a win contender, in my opinion. And, you know, with some of these strong horses like the number six, Mandaloon, number seven, Midnight Bourbon, those post positions, I think, is where you want to be. So that works out for those horses. So how am I going to bet this year's 2021 Louisiana Derby at Fairgrounds? Again, March, Saturday, March 20th, race number 14, going off 744 Eastern Post Time. I'm going to try to beat, I think the keys to this race is trying to beat the number six Mandaloon and hope that hot, this is my, how I'm thinking, hopefully Hot Rod Charlie doesn't fire. If I can get those two out of the win positions and ideally out of the second place, I think have a good shot at hitting this race. 
when I looked at this, when I watched the Risen Star multiple times, it comes down to either betting the four proxy or the number seven midnight bourbon. And then I take it from, all right, who can set off the pace a little bit and who could get the distance? Who's been working out well? Oh, proxy, adding blinkers. That's another positive, possibly, angle. So I give a very, very slight edge to the four proxy. 7-2 to morning line for trainer Michael Stidham and jockey John Velasquez. I think this horse, really nice effort, second place in the Risen Star behind Mandaloon. And I think this horse can get it done. It might like that extra distance that it's going to get today. The blinkers might help. And the pace scenario might help this horse. Johnny V, you got to time this run right and don't let him out of your sights. But don't get caught up in the speed duel. If all that happens, I think number four proxy has a chance to win and beat Mandaloon and all these other horses. Now, I'm going to... (laughs) <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with Midnight Bourbon because I really like this horse too and I would, would not be shocked if this horse won, especially at a better price. So I'm probably going to play the following as Zactus too. Uh, I don't know. We'll see at post time. what I can't see myself making win bets on both the four and the seven, but I'm going to play these as Zactus. The number four and the number seven, so proxy of Midnight Bourbon over the number two which is right and just, hopefully at least, it might, if it hangs on, at least for a second, if it gets out to the early lead, probably going to fade a lot back more than that. The number three run classic, just in case that horse does improve and can get up for a second. Uh, so the two and the three underneath in your Zactus, the four proxy for sure. Number six, Mandaloon, we'll see what those payouts are, just in case I'm right that the number four or number seven can beat Mandaloon. And Mandaloon's still classy enough horse to finish second. Then I still hit the exacta. And number seven, Midnight Bourbon, I'm going to include. So four and seven are my top picks. But underneath in the exactas, I'm going to have the two, three, four, six, and seven uh, to hopefully round out the exactas. And this was difficult. I don't know who really to go with. But I think just there's a slight edge with the number four proxy over the number seven midnight bourbon i think the pace scenario the blinkers uh will help out proxy i think the added distance will help out proxy i'm just afraid midnight bourbon might get caught going too fast too early and it might not get the distance to to uh what do you say (laughs) hold off these uh other horses that are going to be coming down the stretch off the pace but man, I'm worried about Midnight Bourbon. And I and when all said and done, I might include that in some kind of win wager or something. Hook it up in doubles. Uh, who knows what's going to happen. But number four, number seven for me, like I said, those other horses underneath the two, three, uh, four, six, and seven. Who do you like in this year's Louisiana Derby? I'd love to hear. I'd love to hear every week y'all's picks. And no matter what wager you do, no matter what horses you bet, hopefully you cash. And have a good weekend. And we're on the road to the Kentucky Derby, y'all. It's getting close. All right. So this is a weekend handicapper. Until next time, happy handicapping. Smart wagering.